I got baby snails. Well, technically, I've only seen one baby snail. I really think that I have a bunch of snail eggs in the tank. Yeah, that is basically what we're gonna be talking about today, you guys. I really wanted to put this video up as soon as possible because I like to get your feedback you know, on things and I like everyone's opinions so I can kind of like get an idea of, you know, what to do at times like this. And if you are new to my channel, this is the first time I have ever set up a fish tank. I really wanted to get a beta fish and that is still the goal, so don't worry you guys. The tank is now ready and we could actually go at any moment and bring our new beta home. But last night, Oh my goodness. Literally, I walk by the tank because, you know, I'm like looking in there and just making sure the plants are okay and everything's going well. I noticed there was like a ton, like a ton of algae everywhere in the tank. And all of a sudden I look really close and right on the tank is this tiny little thing moving around and I'm like, what is that? So I did all these posts last night on Instagram. I think I like blew you guys up because I was just in shock and like at that moment, since I've never had a fish tank before. Go crazy, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what was happening. Oh, well, first off, I just wanted to thank everyone, and I mean everyone on Instagram for, you know, calming me down, giving me a ton of tips on what I should do about this little baby snail that I found. Everyone has basically been saying that they probably came home on those live plants that I got from Petco. The, uh, what was it? I think the other week, I believe. So a huge thank you to Lauren. Lauren G on Instagram. She's a marine biologist. She really, really helped me out and actually was able to tell me what kind of snail I have and apparently I have bladder snails. A lot of people were suggesting to like, go take it and just like flush it down the toilet or something or like, you know, get rid of it. I'm like sitting there, I'm like, no, I do not want to be like a baby snail murderer. Like I don't want to be that. Like there is no way, there's no way I can do that. I can't even hurt a fly. Like I'm not kidding. There's no way I could just take this little snail and like squish it or something. Oh my God. Gosh, no. Here I am, I got a baby snail and I think I got eggs and they're probably going to take over the tank here. I mean, at any moment before I even get the beta. I was suggested to this channel, Rachel O'Leary, and she actually has a really good video on to kind of like take care of this whole snail issue. So I totally watched that and I did watch a bunch of other videos as well. Literally is a bunch of options to do and I'm just kind of like, I need more opinions, I need more, I need more. Like, give me more, please. <laughs> Many are saying just to leave it, get the beta, the beta will take care of it. The only thing is, will the beta be able to take care of like all the snails that are probably going to appear in the tank here at any moment or any day? At least someone had suggested to get, oh my gosh, my piercing just fell out. One second, I'm so sorry. A ton of suggestions to go and purchase an assassin snail, and basically they are going to eat the poor little other baby snails. I was thinking about doing that first, but then quickly realized I get an assassin snail and then I'm gonna have baby assassin snails everywhere as well. So I don't wanna like just put myself in the same position, I guess. Early from Rachel O'Leary's channel and her video, she suggested to do like a snail trap where you cut the top of this and you put in like some veggies in the bottom. Sorry, I got, <laughs> I got some water in here still. But um, where you put veggies in the bottom of it and then apparently within an hour or two or overnight, every single snail that would be in the tank already living will be in this little trap here. So that is something that I could do. But then what do I do with the snails? Like do I put them in a container and like keep them as a pet? I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, Pam, you're totally overreacting. It's just like a tiny snail and you can, like, it's fish food and you can just, you know, squish it. Honestly, I just really, I really don't want to do that. I just really don't want to do it. I just feel so bad if I did that. Like, I'm not even kidding. A baby, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a baby. Option, I could just keep the snails in the tank and just have a tank full of snails and have them as pets or something. Of course, I would never, ever, ever release these snails into the wild or something like that that is completely illegal in the US I definitely do not support anything in that nature so although I'm really super excited that you know we are ready to go on this tank and we can go and get our beta fish there's enough beneficial bacteria in the tank and we are ready I have the snail problem on my hands and I don't want to like bring the beta home and then like be infested with snails opinions your comments everything um, would mean the world to me right now I could like get like a little plastic bin or container 
and you know keep them in there I mean has anyone ever done that like do people keep snails as pets like little you know not like the giant African land snails but like do people keep like these little you know fish tank snails pets like just them I have to look it up on YouTube and see if anyone is keeping them as pets I would totally be up for I mean I totally would be up for that but what if I get like a billion gazillion babies they reproduce like mad so I don't know if that's a good idea either yeah that is basically the situation that I have going on right now you guys update I finally received my um, glass lid for the aquarium from Amazon I think the other week as well and I actually took like the little plastic piece off so it's not covering the whole entire tank keeping that beta in and making sure the cats don't put their little paws in the water because I was seeing that when I didn't have the tank, my cats were like trying to drink out of the, the aquarium. Very happy that I got a lid. Very happy about that. Really, really love for you guys to leave me your thoughts down below in the comments. But yeah, I just really wanted to keep you guys updated and um, I'm gonna have to like really figure out what I'm gonna do now about this little situation that we have going on. I love you guys so much and I appreciate all the love and support you guys give me and I uh, will see you very very soon in my next video. Bye. Bye. Why am I doing that?